let's let's try this build thing. Um, where do I even start? I guess I I guess I'll. Are you guys around? Can you can you comment? Do you guys want to watch me build something? Okay. All right. So this is action that um, this is a gr grand experiment. I have no idea how it's going to go. Um, of what I'm calling freestyle speed building with AI. So I don't think it has to be one product. I can be. I can just build mini features. I could end up building multiple products. I could end up connecting them. You can throw out features. You can just. It could be, I could build partway through a product and ditch it. It'll be a combination of what I see you type in here and what I feel like I can build that would be interesting to show and teach. There it might be a complete disaster uh, or it might end up being fabulous. So without further, further ado, would you like to start typing in things you'd like to see? What would you like to see built on, built with GPT-3? Or is it too like, is it too open ended? You like, throw throw out a um, summarize bank balance sheets to assess the risk. All right, we're starting we're starting hard. Okay, so Jeep Jenny photo based on a journal. You can give a few facts to adjust it. Great. Okay, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna share my screen now. Cool. So I just opened up a random air table. We'll use this as our backend. Um, summarize bank balance sheets. Uh, so first, let's, what goes in a bank balance sheet? Examples, do I have any examples, spreadsheets that I can get? Okay, I can look for a bank balance sheet. I'll type. That's not. Oh, I guess somebody. I need to make sure to keep doing it within the same tab so you guys can all see. Oh, we're doing SVB. That's mean, but I guess fair. All right. So chunking, like chunking the whole the chunking stuff does get a little. I don't want to deal with too huge of documents because I'm actually not that on point with uh, GPT index. GPT GPT cannot read PDFs, but there are tools that can read PDFs. This doesn't look. Is there like a specific set of numbers I'm looking for here? Uh, all right, let's just grab this. This. Great. So first, let's just test its ability. I don't, I, let's like, is this like too long of context? I guess I'll go into playground first. Risks. And follow. Let's see. Credit risk provision for credit loss has increased significantly from 2021 to 2022. Interest rate is significantly. I mean, this seems pretty solid as a base of version one, I'd say. So I guess if I was building this tool, all right, let's go back to building a tool because that's that's where we have fun part. So this will go into, basically all I needed to do was this was, actually I don't even need to save that. Um, 
Well, let's see. Can I upload? use Zapier interfaces for this. If somebody does have a CSV, that would be actually um, have a spreadsheet that would be interesting we can create. Can I create a form um, of bank statements? Uh, This, but I want to want. What I really want is. I can't do files, can I? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, it does not allow CSV. Okay, so the building the CSV one with no code is going to be a little trickier unless I can find. Um, but in the meantime, what I'll do is uh, one where you can copy and paste something into it. So if that's the case, I'll just change this to long text. Um, so yes. Here. Great. So that's the... Add action. Um, run zap. Okay, we'll create a zap for this. Oh, Zapier interfaces is nice, huh? It's great for building demos. So now we'll call OpenAI. This by inlight. We already have my API key. We'll send prompt. We already know what the prompt is because we did it. Adjust it a little bit. We'll do text of entry 003. And then form submission. Oh, I have to complete the step first. And then um, let's, let's do copy paste this into the financials. And then I'm going to copy this into here. I'll give my. Great, so I pull that in. Now I can go back. Are you guys following? I'm going to test this trigger. So now it has, I have a form that can accept an email and a CSV copy paste. Looks wrong, but fine. Um, why does it look wrong? Let's, Right, that's going to be an issue. Okay, this looks, this looks right. Okay, good, great. So yeah, the first one must have been a dummy data. So now we want the first part to be the form submission, this values. And then I want to do, oops. Values, then I'll take Get a little bit more generic. Analyze the above CSV. And 
and provide short summary key risks and magnitude and follow up questions. Great. We'll make it we'll give it we'll give it some I'll let it go through maybe about start with a thousand or so. Um we'll just kind of keep these generic fields. Do you mean uh CSV instead of SVB? Uh wait, initially I said CSV, but I think I, I meant to switch to CSV here. Did I say oh yes, you're right. I did mean SVB. I mean CSV. God, I can cannot do. Absolutely right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna start thinking about this next tool. We got a, we got a couple ideas. Okay. This is gonna basically um, when this is done, it's gonna email it to you, and then there'll be a form where if you upload a CSV, um, you will get a um, you'll get something emailed back. Um, you'll get the answer emailed back to you if you fill it. GPT three generates a photo based on your journaling, and you can give it feedback to adjust. Um, oh, that one's that one's a little trickier to build quickly. But anyways, this is a summary, whatnot. Great. So I do. Um, all right, let's let's just kind of see what happens. <laughs> email. Let's see email might save here. Send out the email. Form submission. All right, and then subject, here's your CSV analysis. That is the completion. We'll publish the zap. Publish and turn it on. All right. So I think that was uh, that was ten minutes. Now we have a site that if you can uh, copy paste to CSV into here again, it doesn't do token length. Like it, it, I'm not I'm not doing all the make sure it's within you know, make sure it's not too long and whatnot. But it's, it's here's the link if people want to try it. Um, if you find a short CSV, I can, I'll, I'll give it one more go with something I have. Um, I know I have. Let's let's use my fundraising plan. Let's use our model or deck. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try this. I'm gonna do. Pasted and then what I can do is I can actually go to the zap um, details. And let's see if I've I think that means it ran. Sorry, I'm actually logging into my Pixel Beast email address on the back right now so that I can share this hopefully glorious email. Yes, it's there. Okay, it's ugly, but it's there. Look at that. Wait, that's the original one. Where's my new one? All right, well, it's a start. At least it's a, oh, I, I think I need to maybe manually run it. Um, it's, it's probably on a trigger where it runs every once in a while, so it's probably a way to. Hmm. Where's my zap runs? There it is. I'm 
Okay, this is the one I did. This is the one I did. Da, 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 da. Email out to Got it. It's just in the response. It's, uh, I got two emails, so it's in the bottom. This model provides a projection of expected investment outcomes for a venture fund of 40 million spread across 50 companies. Model estimates that a fund with these parameters will generate returns of 44.6, 30.6, and 16.3% in optimistic, practical, conservative scenarios. Key risks, investment timing. There is risk that the fund has mistimed the market and may be investing too late or early, resulting in lower returns. The value model assumes that each company in the fund has posted money valuation $5 million for the first check and $20 million for the second check. If the valuations of the company are lower than expected, the expected returns may be lower. Actually, that's wrong. If it was lower, the expected returns should be higher. So not perfect, but hey, I'd say for a 10-minute MVP based on the first request, I'd say that's pretty solid.